I'm Paul Kassebaum, the Technical Director of Public Sector at Sandbox AQ. I'm going to briefly explain what zero trust and quantum resistant cryptography are, why you should care about them, and how to start benefiting from both of them. The details are in our blog post in the description below this video. I'll start with what zero trust and quantum resistant cryptography are. Zero trust is a cybersecurity paradigm focused on resource protection and the premise that trust should never be granted implicitly, but rather should be continually evaluated. Zero trust focuses on authentication, authorization, and shrinking implicit trust zones while maintaining availability and minimizing delays in authentication mechanisms. Access rules are made as granular as possible to enforce least privileges needed to perform an action in response to a request. Quantum resistant or post quantum cryptography is a set of algorithms and protocols that can be run on existing infrastructure to create cryptographic problems that are computationally difficult to solve, even for a quantum computer. After a six year multinational development and vetting process, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, announced four candidate algorithms to be standardized for public key cryptography and digital signatures. These quantum resistant cryptographic algorithms are the foundation of authentication mechanisms, and authentication mechanisms are the focus of zero trust. This is the connection between the two concepts. Now, let me explain why you should care about them. Zero trust is a response to enterprise network trends that include remote users, bring your own device, and cloud-based assets that aren't located within an enterprise-owned network boundary. In other words, perimeter defense is no longer sufficient. Data not secured with quantum-resistant cryptography can be stolen, stored indefinitely, and then decrypted once the thief has access to a large-scale fault-tolerant quantum computer. These store now, decrypt later attacks are happening already. They were already motivated by Moore's law, and now that exponential quantum speedups are on the horizon, they've become an irresistible tactic. These are the inherent motivations to start migrating to zero trust and quantum resistant cryptography. There are also US government executive orders, national security memos, office of management and budget memos, and congressional acts that require certain federal IT systems to adopt them by deadlines that are only getting nearer. Finally, let me explain how you can start benefiting from these ideas. To most efficiently migrate to a quantum resistant zero trust architecture, your organization should first take steps towards crypto agility. Crypto agility is the ability to support rapid adaptations of cryptographic primitives without making significant changes to your system's infrastructure and mitigating risks of business continuity disruptions. It automates and eases the challenges of cryptographic lifecycle management, differences in key sizes, encrypted file sizes, and signature lengths, attributes that have wide ramifications to application and infrastructure software, protocol specifications, application program interfaces, and the standards that, that define them. The first step in any organization's journey towards crypto agility is making a cryptographic inventory or bill of materials. From this first step on towards your organization's full migration to a quantum resistant zero trust architecture, Sandbox AQ is here to help you. In summary, we covered what zero trust and quantum resistant cryptography are, why you should care about them, and how to start benefiting from them both. To learn more, check out our blog post linked in the description of this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. To speak with me or my teammates, you can reach out to us at federal at sandboxaq.com. Thanks for listening.